You're watching UNICEF television. During the post-election violence that hit Côte d'Ivoire in the last six months, 165,000 Ivorians fled to Liberia for shelter. Today, many have started to come back to their country. Rain and her sister-in-law Deborah just came back from Liberia, where they fled four months ago. It's the second time they crossed the border to bring their belongings back home. The Liberians were kind enough to give us a home, and we were safe there. But the conditions were really difficult. We tried to come back several times, but now is the right moment. Our brothers told us we could come back. When she first came back to her village, Ren discovered her house and all the village had been completely looted. They took everything, my mattress, my son's clothes, and in the kitchen, they took all my rice. Even the granary has been emptied, leaving the villagers with very little food. But still, Rain can't hide her joy to be back home. I feel good even though we have nothing to eat. I feel at ease. I live the way I lived before. It's all good now. Rain's house hasn't suffered much from the recent clashes, but not everyone had this chance. During the recent skirmishes in western Côte d'Ivoire, many villages were destroyed and many houses were burnt down. The village of Koaro, a couple miles from the Liberian border, was still completely deserted a few days ago. Now, half of the 1,000 residents have come back. Among them, Rose Van was eight months pregnant when she fled to Liberia. She had to give birth in the Liberian camp in very harsh conditions. After I gave birth, I received no care. My child hasn't received any vaccination so far. She has no name and no official papers in Côte d'Ivoire. Because of the tense situation in the country, children in the village haven't lived a normal life for months. Achille is 12 years old. He hasn't gone to school since last Christmas. I had my bicycle here and my school books and my bag, but they stole everything. Achille's wish is now to have a new bike and books to go back to school. So far, only half of the 800,000 children who were forced out of school have been able to go back to class. This is Edward Bally, reporting for UNICEF Television. For more information, go to unicef.org. Unite for children.